Hello everybody, welcome to our lesson. Today we will solve a problem on the topic magnetic flux. And this is the goal of the lesson. At the end of the lesson you will be able to use the equation for magnetic flux. And before we start solving problems it will be useful to recall the previous topic. And we know that if magnetic field lines are passing through a particular surface which has area A, the flux through this surface can be found by multiplying magnetic field strengths to the area and to the angle between the normal of the plane and the magnetic field lines. So this is the first problem. We see a building and through this building magnetic field lines of the Earth are passing and we are asked to find the magnetic flux through the wall. So, let's start by writing the givens. What we know here, we know the area of the wall, it is 15 times 8 meters square. And we know the magnetic field from the Earth. It is 3, 10, minus 5 Tesla. And we are asked to find the flux through the wall. Now, let's start solving problem. And this is the equation for the magnetic flux. So, here, the wall is perpendicular to the magnetic field lines and the angle between the normal of the wall and the magnetic field lines are zero and it means cosine alpha will be one. And this is the situation when the angle is zero and the plane is perpendicular. And if the plane is perpendicular, then magnetic flux through the surface will be maximum and it will be just magnetic field times to the area. And let's use the givens and calculate the flux. Magnetic field of the Earth is 3, 10, minus 5 times to the area of the wall, 15 to 8. And the flux, it is 3, 10, minus 5, multiplied to 120 meters square. And flux is equal to 360, 10, minus 5. And we can write in this form, 3.6, 10, minus 3. The unit for the flux is Weber. So this is the answer. And let's move to the second problem. Here we have a, something like an inclined plane, a 3D object. And we are asked to find the flux through each of the sides. This object has five sides, so we need to find the flux through the five sides. Let's start by writing the givens. What we know here, we know the magnetic field, it is 1.2 Tesla, and we know the length of the sides. So let's start writing AC. AC length will be equal to the length which is parallel to this BD, and this is 3 meters. Also, we know the length of the AB side and parallel to this is CD, they are equal and this is also 3 meters. And what we know also is that CE side, the parallel to this side is DF is equals to 4 meters. 
and that's it and we're asked to find flux so I will divide this problem into three sections in first section I will look at the sides which are parallel with the magnetic field lines I have three sides which are parallel to the magnetic field lines so let's write them down it's triangle AEC and also the triangle BFD and the perpendicular the parallelogram CDFE they're all parallel to the magnetic field lines that's why we know from the equation that if surface is parallel to the magnetic field lines then the flux will be zero flux through these three sides must be zero and in the second section of this problem I will look at the surface which is perpendicular to the magnetic field lines so I have one surface only this is parallelogram ABDS and this side is perpendicular to the magnetic field lines and we know when plane is perpendicular to the magnetic field lines we can find it just by multiplying magnetic field to the area and now we know the magnetic field but we don't know area so let's find the area of this perpendicular side so area of the parallelogram is we just need to multiply the sides the side AC to the AB and 3 to 3 it's 9 meters square so flux will be equal to magnetic field which is 1.2 multiplied to 9 and flux is equals to 10.8 Weber's so this is the flux through the perpendicular side ABDS and the third section we have a plane which is at an angle with the magnetic field lines this is the parallelogram ABFE this is at some angle so here I use the equation with cosine alpha again I need to find the area of this parallelogram and this is also by we can find by multiplying the sides AB to the AE and from Pythagorean theorem we can find that AE is also can be found by Pythagorean theorem this is 3 4 and the hypotenuse will be 5 so area of this surface is 3 to 5 15 meters square and flux will be 1.2 multiplied to 15 and cosine alpha how can we find cosine alpha the alpha it is between the normal and the magnetic field lines 
This is the alpha. And if this is beta, this is also beta. And we can find that the sum of this angle is 90 degree. So it means if we assume that this is 90 degree, so sum of these two angle is also 90 degree. So basically we need to find the cosine alpha from this triangle. And cosine alpha from this triangle will be cosine alpha will be adjacent side to the hypotenuse adjacent to the hypotenuse and adjacent side for the angle alpha in this triangle is 3 and dividing to the hypotenuse it's 5 so it is 0 0.6 and we say here 0 0.6 so let's multiply this 1.2 times 15 times 0 0.6 and if we multiply it the answer would be also 10.8 Weber so the flux through this surface is also 10.8 and we, we, we just could find it by deduction because if this is ABFE plane is at an angle then the perpendicular plane is ABDS plane so that's why the flux through this surfaces are the same so this is the end of the lesson if you like it please subscribe and share thank you